I'm Senator Bob Huff. This is my capital comment for the week of April 28, 2014. Automaker Toyota announced this week it is leaving California for greener pastures in Texas, which means the loss of 3,000 good-paying jobs for the Los Angeles area. This news is troubling on several fronts. First, Toyota isn't the first to pull up stakes and leave California. They're just the best known and the latest. In late 2005, Nissan Motor Company relocated from Gardena to Franklin, Tennessee, with its CEO citing the cost of doing business as a key reason. The two automakers join a list of manufacturers and businesses that are pulling up stakes and moving out. The news comes at a time when California's unemployment rate has ticked up again. It's now at 8.4 percent, nearly two points higher than the national average, with only three states having it worse, Illinois, Nevada, and Rhode Island. But that's not the worst of it. The highly respected Anderson business forecast released by UCLA earlier this month finds that the city of Los Angeles hasn't experienced positive job growth in the last 23 years. In fact, the Anderson forecast finds that LA County has lost more net jobs than any large metropolitan area in the nation from 1990 to 2013. The unemployment rate in LA County is nearly 9%. If you want to know why businesses like Toyota are leaving, listen to the executives. Listen to the owners who've moved elsewhere. They blame the high cost of doing business here, the overbearing regulations, and the overall way job creators are treated as the reason why they've left. And they say they're not coming back. Our citizens and businesses are overtaxed. California has the highest state sales tax rate in the nation at 7.5%. Some counties go on beyond that. California has the nation's highest gas tax at nearly 72 cents a gallon. Thanks to Prop 30, we now have the nation's highest state income tax rate. Thanks to renewable energy mandates, commercial energy rates are 44% higher than other states. This may be one reason why another California automaker, Tesla, is looking to build a new gigafactory in any other state except for California. With the high energy cost here, who can blame them? It may come as sobering news to many that the Golden State once led the nation in job innovation and creation. The good news is we can reassume that role, but only if state lawmakers take positive steps to make California an attractive place to do business again. But instead of taking those steps, Democrats who control the legislature and every other statewide office have consistently voted against virtually every measure that would reduce burdensome regulation. They've consistently voted against measures to lessen the impact of out-of-control environmental programs like CEQA, which is often used as a blunt club to stop development and new business creation in California. Instead of introducing measures to lower tax rates, they've done the opposite by introducing bills to raise taxes on a host of businesses. CEO Magazine rates California as the worst state to do business. In fact, they've done that about 10 years in a row now. Businesses are leaving. Jobs are leaving. Opportunity is moving to Texas and elsewhere. My Republican colleagues and I believe now is the time to reverse this troublesome trend. We must reform our education system and proactively work to keep businesses like Toyota from leaving and attract new job creators to bring opportunity and jobs back to California. I'm Senator Bob Huff. Thanks for joining me for my capital comment.